Let's focus in on Germany now. And the IFO Business Confidence Index came in at 88.5 for August. That was ahead of an estimate of 86.8. And earlier this morning, Germany's economy proved at least a little bit more resilient than initially thought by growing in the second quarter, despite, of course, surging inflation and the war in Ukraine. Joining us now for more is Timo Wolmer Hauser, who is the Deputy Director of the IFO Center for Macroeconomics. Timo, thank you for joining us. Just Give us your assessment then of the survey and what it tells us about the fragility of the German economy at this point as it struggles, of course, with those record energy prices. The survey coming in slightly better than the estimates, but still showing a weakness in terms of confidence. Yes, that's right. This is the only good news that I can tell you today. Uh, mm. The good news is that it is uh, more or less uh, stagnating our uh, business climate index, uh, and this is in the opposite to what most of the people expected. Um, but as I said, this is the only good news. The bad news is that the low level of um, the uh, confidence uh, that we saw in July was uh, confirmed, and uh, in July we really had a crash of the EU business climate index. Um, and so this, of course, has uh, implications for the third quarter. Um, so if you compare business confidence of the third quarter with th that of the second quarter, then this is clearly uh, signaling a decline in economic activity uh, in, of the German economy in the third quarter. So after this more or less stagnation in uh, the second quarter of GDP, we expect the GDP to decline by around 0.5 percent in the third quarter. Uh, given everything that you're seeing, everyone you're speaking to on the ground there in Germany, do you expect that that drop in, in, in sentiment to continue uh, to, to get worse in, in the months ahead? And which sectors of the economy are, are feeling the most pressure at this point? Mm. Well, the decline in the business confidence is something that we observe over all sectors. Um, on the one hand, of course, the industry is suffering from high energy prices, from a uh, slowing uh, world economy. Uh, and uh, so here we expect activity to stagnate over the, la over the next couple of months. But where the index uh, is declining the most at the, at the moment is in, in the retail sector. Uh, and this is, of course, to do with uh, the high inflation rates that we observe in Germany, which are clearly weighing on the purchasing power of, uh, of households. So this is also mm. the reason for why I expect a GDP to decline in, in the, th uh, the, the third quarter, because of private consumption being weak. Concerning the further outlook, uh, let's say, into the fourth quarter, of course, there's a lot of uncertainty uh, at, at the moment. On the one hand, the uncertainty about uh, how strong the increase in consumer prices will be. There's a lot of price increases still in the pipeline in energy prices. Uh, so far, gas prices have only increased uh, for German uh, households by around 50 percent. This is a large number, but there's still yeah. a lot more to be passed through from uh, energy suppliers to households. Uh, Tima, are you seeing evidence of, of, a, of a pick up, uh, an increase in, in closures, business closures, uh, bankruptcies? For the moment, I don't see this. Um, I mean, it, it is not really a severe recession that we are entering. It's not, my, I mean, 0.5 percent of decline in GDP. Mm. This is nothing which uh, should, uh, in the end, end up uh, with a high number of, of bankruptcies. Uh, but still, clear. I mean, this is a weakening of the German economy, and, and depending on on what is going on, uh, especially on the energy supply side. I mean, this is the, the other big thing which is really uncertain. Uh, so uh, is there enough energy? Is there enough gas over the winter month? And uh, in case we are entering a, ration, uh, a rationing system or a rationing situation where some of the uh, manufacturing industries uh, do not get um, uh, gas anymore, of course, the, uh, the risk that we have insolvencies uh, is, of, is, of course, increasing. Is, is there more that the government, uh, that officials in Berlin uh, can do to, to support industry and business? Well, the only thing that they can do is, uh, is of course, uh, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to increase the supply of gas. And this is what they have done successfully, I would say, over the last couple of months. So, of course, uh, gas imports from Russia were, were, were declining significantly. But the, the imports from other countries like, uh, the Nor like Norway or the Netherlands have um, increased. So this is one thing that they can do. Uh, of course, we can uh, give incentives uh, to, uh, to households and 
with also to firms uh, to uh, decrease uh, the, the 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 demand uh, of, uh, of 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 energy. I mean, this is what what the, what the government is currently doing. Uh, they are uh, reducing um, energy demand of the public mm. sector, but. Um, um, on the other hand, what the government can also do is, is of course, to increase uh, the incomes of, of those households mm. which are suffering most from the high energy okay. prices uh, by increasing transfers to yeah. them.